Well, what's up, guys? I am back. It's been a few days since my last update, but for today's update, I'm gonna teach you how to get your Minecraft server online with uTorrent. All right, let's get into it. Delete this world. Do, 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 do. All right, you gotta download the Minecraft server exe. That's pretty easy. Go to Minecraft.net/slash/download. Download the exe file right here. It'll appear in your downloads. Drag that into a folder of yours. What the fuck? When did that get up there? But anyway, drag that into a Minecraft folder. Open up your folder. Run this for the first time, and all these files will appear. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is just get all my accounts up. Because I can. Oh, right. Run the Minecraft server. Click run, click run. And ta da. Now you just gotta wait for it to get your spawn area up and running, there we go, minimize, minimize, open up your minecraft folder, go to add server, oh shit, forgot to teach you something, before you run your minecraft exe for the second time so you can actually start playing on your server, click server, this server, your server properties, file, Open it with Notepad. And what you want to do is put in your private IP address in the server IP. So to do that, on Windows XP, you type in Run. This little thing will appear. Type in Command. Click OK. This will appear. Type in IP config. Click Enter. Scroll all the way up until you find your IPv4 address. <coughs> Sorry for my little uh, voice crack there, but it's all good. Get your IPv4 address. It'll be this one right here, the second one. Get it, copy and paste it, or write it down if you can't copy and paste it, and put it under your server IP. Do not change the server port, and you're done. Run your Minecraft server. Click run. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there for a few seconds. Let it load. And ta da. Alright, minimize it. Minimize that. Get your Minecraft up and running. Now click Add Server. Copy and paste your server IP in here. Put colon two five five six. All right, just like that. You can name it whatever you want, like blah blah blah. But yeah, mine says Minecraft server. Actually, I gotta delete this one. That was my old one. Minecraft server. Rick James is Minecraft server. Alright, join. There we go. Done. Back to game. The game be a little less light. But this is your server. And the 
miscellaneous or whatever, blah blah blah. I'm currently interested in the horse update actually. So I'm gonna spawn a horse. Because this horse update is Let me tame you. I'm not necessarily sure on how to tame the horse, but I'm pretty sure like every other animal. The bone will work. Whoa! I did not want 64 enchant tables. Come back here! Either way, this horse update is actually pretty cool. I'm about to slay a horse, yes. It's pissing me off. Oh, are you trying to attack me? Ooh. Well, anyway, guys, that's your Minecraft server. So disconnect. Close this. Ow. Same thing as the SAM server. Fairly simple. But I'm gonna put it in a text document just for you guys. Blow it up. Alright. Go to IPChicken.com. Get your ex external IP address. Shouldn't be that hard. IPHicken.com. You get it? Copy it. Copy it. And you go back into this. Copy and paste it. And then type two five five six five. Ta da! Give that to a friend. Now, after you have your Minecraft server open, what you need to do after you have your Minecraft server open, what do you preference this? Go to connection. Change this to 25565. Apply. Click OK. Your server is now online. Whoever you give this IP address to will be able to join. Make a forms or whatever. Do whatever you want. <coughs> if you guys need any help getting your server online, please contact me on Skype. My Skype will be in the description below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.